Well, you know, I, I, Alabama fans, they, they never stop outdoing themselves, do they? They've reached a new low now. Bragging about contract extensions. <laughs> I mean, if it wasn't so ridiculous, it wouldn't be funny. Um, I mean, this is just insane. First of all, in general... A contract means absolutely nothing in terms of number of years. I mean, it means less than nothing. I have a show I do every Monday night with Pigskin Pete called The Lunch Money Show. It's a show about nothing. That show is more of something than the number of years of a college coach's contract is. It's so much less than nothing, it hardly exists. The number of years on a contract means literally nothing. 99% of coaches that have ever been fired were fired while they were under contract. 99% of coaches that have ever quit have quit while they were under contract. 99% of coaches that have retired have retired while they were under contract. So great. Alabama has extended Nick Saban through 2028. He was under contract through 2025 prior to that. He's going to make $8 million a year this year. And by the end of the contract, which th this contract will never end, uh, but he'll, he'll be making an average of $10 million a year. The number of years is pointless. Nick Saban is the greatest college football coach in history and possibly the greatest football coach in history, regardless of level, high school, college, pro, whatever you want to look at. I don't, I don't know if this is breaking news to gump man, to Alabama man, to inbreed man, to illiterate man, to, hey, get off your sister, man. Nick Saban has a lifetime contract at Alabama, okay? Nick Saban is coaching at Alabama until Nick Saban decides he doesn't want to coach at Alabama, period. Whether that's a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, ten years from now, whatever. The number of years that Alabama agrees to extend his contract is irrelevant. Irrelevant. And when you look at all the things that Alabama fan, Alabama man, Gump man, inbreed man, illiterate man, and hey, get off your sister, man, could be bragging about. The fact that they're currently bragging about a contract extension is honestly one of the saddest things I've ever seen. And when you look at the list of saddest things I've ever seen, unfortunately, Alabama man is on there quite a bit. Alabama is the most dominant football program right now. They're the most dominant football program of the last 15 years. The argument could be made that they're one of, if not the most dominant football program of all time. Yet still, they have to make up fake national titles. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, this is nothing new, you know. Alabama man bragging about ridiculous things like fake titles in years where they finished third in the SEC, fake titles in years where they lost their bowl game. But bragging about a contract extension for Nick Saban. <sighs> Y'all are scraping the bottom of the barrel. Let's think about some people who got contract extensions heading into this season. Nick Saban, Dan Mullen, Jim Harbaugh. <laughs> Will Muschamp got a contract extension two years ago. How'd that work out? And I'm not saying any of that to say that Nick Saban is any of those people because he's not. Nick Saban is the greatest college football coach of all time, period, end of story. I'm saying that to say Alabama fan, when Jim Harbaugh got his contract extension at the end of last season, every Alabama fan on earth called me up and said, this is ridiculous. It doesn't mean anything. Who cares they gave him a contract extension? If you can't beat Ohio State or win the division, he's still going to get fired. Exactly. Because a contract extension means nothing. Nothing. The number of years on a contract is irrelevant. 
when a coach is ready to quit, he's just going to quit. There's not anything anybody can do. If a school wants to fire a coach, they're going to fire him. It doesn't matter that he might have five years left on his contract. Again, Nick Saban's not getting fired. That's not the point. You know, I, I just I don't understand why Alabama fans continually have to invent reasons to brag. They're all over the internet right now bragging about women's softball. For God's sakes, people. For God, this is sadder than Tennessee, man, bragging about their basketball team that's never accomplished anything ever in history. You know, Tennessee's basketball team's never made a Final Four. They haven't won the SEC Conference Tournament since 1978. 79, whatever it was. I mean, it's just pitiful. You know, you're running around here bragging about baseball and women's softball and Nick Saban contract extensions. You're the best program in college football. Everyone that's watching this right now is watching because they're a college football fan, not because they're a women's softball fan. Not because they're a basketball fan or a, or a college baseball fan. And not because they care about how many years a coach has left on their contract. Because unlike the Alabama man, they know it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean a thing. Alabama man, gump man, inbred man, illiterate man. Hey, get off your sister man. You guys could brag about football and football only and win every single bragging contest you enter, but no, no, you're much too stupid for that. Instead of bragging about football, using facts and reality, you brag about fake national titles that don't exist in contract extensions. Nick Saban's the greatest college football coach in history. I'll say it for now the third or fourth time. Alabama's the most dominant football program in college football today and over the last 15 years. And the Alabama fan is honestly one of the biggest, uh, d d uh, dumbest group of human beings on planet Earth. Have a good morning.